Behind me is a map of Edo, the present-day Tokyo that was produced around 1680s. Edo was the political capital of the Tokugawa shogunate, where the Tokugawa shogun lived. And right in the middle of the map, you can see the shogun's castle. Now, if you know a map of present-day Tokyo, you might notice that the map is oriented a bit strangely. It's in fact oriented north, west, south, and east. It is probably facing west because that's actually where the actual capital of Japan existed throughout the Tokugawa period, which is where the emperor lives, the city of Kyoto. Now, the city of Edo was divided into two major sections. One part was known as Yamanote, the high city. It's the part that is, in fact, geographically elevated from the sea, and it covered from the north through the western and to the southern parts of Edo. And it was the part of Edo where uh, members of the warrior class, the samurai, lived. This was the part of Edo where many of the estates of leading daimyo, uh, who were the feudal lords and rulers of different parts of Japan, had their different residences. And on the map, you can see them being marked by different crests. On the eastern part of the city, you can see the part of Edo that was known as Shitamachi, or Low City. And this was where the commoners lived, merchants, craftsmen, many of whom had their uh, shops and storages and warehouses uh, all along uh, the river as well as the canals that surrounded it. Speaking of the river, you'll see a major river that cuts across the Shitamachi, and this is to this day known as the Sumida River. Edo can be thought of as not just one city, but several different cities. It's first of all a military city, a defensive city, especially when the shogunate began in 1603. So you had the shogun's castle in the middle, which is being surrounded and defended by a series of moats. You can see the inner moat right here, and you can also see the outer moat that are being connected to rivers small and large. Edo was also a political city. You obviously have the shogun's castle in the middle again, who ruled over all of Japan. But surrounding him were his closest vassals who directly served the Tokugawa shogun, living very close to the castle. By the year 1700, the city of Edo had a population of almost one million people, making it one of the largest cities in the world. And so it was a major economic hub, and the commoners were at the forefront of that. And so in the low city section, closer to the river, closer to the canals, you had merchants, you had craftsmen uh, doing their business throughout the Tokugawa period. And so the political hub is in the middle of the city, and the economic hub moves a little bit eastward to the Shitamachi area. Now, surrounding the entire city, you can also think about the peripheries of Edo, which were important parts. In the peripheries, you'll find, for example, major temples and shrines. On the northeastern corner is Asakusa, which is to this day a major tourist attraction uh, known for Sensoji, the Asakusa Temple. On the southwestern end of Edo, you also see another major temple complex known as Zojoji. And this was a temple that was closely associated with the Tokugawa shogunate. Both the temple complexes on the northeast and southwest were placed as spiritual protections of the shogunate. There were other things that were also placed in the periphery. Most notably, an area called Yoshiwara, which you can see is surrounded by a moat system, existed. And this was the major pleasure quarters throughout the Tokugawa period, where famous courtesans uh, from the Edo period lived and worked.